What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new, welcome to the Jenny Liz Q family. I am so happy that you're here and today I wanted to bring you some coastal farmhouse Dollar Tree DIYs. These were super easy to make. And guys, before we begin this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe and hit that notification bell. So to begin, we're going to start off with this blue beach surfboard sign. So here I have one of the signs from Dollar Tree and some paint from Walmart and a stencil that I also got from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to turn over this sign and I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to create a line going straight down and I'm going to take a knife that I also got from the Dollar Tree and cut through. You're probably going to have to go over it a few times as the sign is a little thick. So here I'm just removing the twine and I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to mark the lines because each line is going to be a different color. Once you've drawn your lines, now we can begin painting. So I'm going to start off with the navy blue, and then you're going to go in with a baby blue, a white, and a tan color, and you're going to continue on until you have it covered your sign. You're going to have to go back and give it a second hand, so that way you have good coverage. Now I'm going in with a fan brush, and I'm going in between each color blending it in and just say, giving it a very beachy vibe and say, here I have a stencil from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go in with the white chalk paint and you guys can add whatever wording you want I just decided to put blue beach now you can leave it as is I just decided to add a little bit more detail so here I have some shells that I had from last year from the Dollar Tree and I'm going over it with some white chalk paint and then once you're done with the shells you're gonna add some hot glue and disclaimer guys be very careful because when I was adding the hot glue the shell it started to get really hot so you want to be super careful and quick at the same time so that way you don't burn your hands so I just added two shells to each side Here I'm taking some twine and I'm going to create a knot um, just to give it a little bit more detail. If you want, you can use the original string that came with the sign, um, but I just wanted to just give it a more nautical look. Our next DIY is a three-tier wood palette sign. And to begin, we are going to use the three of the wood palettes from the Dollar Tree. These shells that I had already on hand. A lot of these, I ended up purchasing them at the Christmas tree shop. They always have a great variety and for a really low price. But Dollar Tree does carry some really nice seashells out as well. So to begin, we are going to start off with the navy blue, and it's kind of like the same setup of the surfboard project that we just did. Um, that's the theme that I was going with, but you guys are more than welcome to just do it a solid color, or you can switch up the pattern. Once I've let it dry, now I'm gonna go and add this sand dollar, and I'm gonna be using some hot glue to glue it onto the palette. You're gonna repeat this step two more times. Um, once you're done with the second one, the third palette that has the three shells, you're gonna take some white chalk paint and you are going to cover it up. I ended up taking the same chalk paint and covering the other shells as well so that way they all matched. Once you're done with that, now we can start connecting the three 
wooden pallets. Um, I'm just using a twine and I'm double knotting it in the back and adding a little bit of hot glue on top to make sure that it's secured. And now I'm gonna show you how you're gonna connect it to the other wood pallets. And basically you have to repeat this step just one more time. And for our next DIY, we are going to be doing this boat wheel stand. I saw something similar in Kirkland's and I wanted to try it out. So we're first going to start off with one of the wooden crates. And again, you're going to be using the same colors and in the same pattern. And while the wood palette is drying, I'm grabbing this boat wheel and I'm taking my hot glue and I'm covering the holes so that way you don't see it. And then I'm going to take some white chalk paint and go over it. I ended up doing it at least two times, seeing as it had some wording and also I got in the inside of it as well. And once your wheel has dried, um, you want to go back in with some silver metallic paint. I got mine from, I believe, Michaels. Um, you just want to do maybe two coats of it. You don't want it to be perfect, you want to give it a rustic look. And then I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm making sure that I'm covering the whole entire wheel so that way I can glue it on to the wood pallet. After the two coats, I still wasn't satisfied so I ended up grabbing a makeup sponge and I went back in with the silver metallic paint. And um, what I did was is that I like used a sponging effect um, just to make sure that it was covered. And here I have a St. Patrick's Day sign. I like to stack up on these because you can do so much with them. I'm just gonna peel off the paper on the top and then I'm gonna go in with some white chalk paints and I'm just gonna paint around the sign. Once the paint has dried, you wanna go back with this, I don't know, like scrapbook paper that I ended up getting from Hobby Lobby in a wood texture. So here I'm just marking around so that way I know what size this is and I'm also folding the edges just to help me out. Now I'm going to add some Mod Podge. So I'm just gonna cover the whole sign with some Mod Podge. The one that I have is clear. Now we can go ahead and place our paper right on top and then I'm gonna take the Mod Podge and I'm just gonna cover it all over. Um, please be careful though because when I was doing this, I ended up getting some bubbles, so just watch out for that. And here I have some dowel sticks from the Dollar Tree. I didn't show it here in the video, but I just ended up grabbing some of that metallic paint and I covered the sticks. Um, and I'm just gluing it to the back of the wood palette. Okay, now you're gonna add some hot glue to the bottom of the legs. Make sure that you're patient with this and also make sure that your mosh project is completely dry. I feel like when I first did it and it fell, that was the cause of it. I didn't let my mosh podge dry. Um, so just be aware of that. And for our next DIY, we're going to be making this shell garland. Now guys, this is super easy to make. All you're doing is grabbing some shells, either from the beach or like these. I ended up grabbing them from the Dollar Tree in a package that they have. And you are going to be using eight shells, four white, and I'm using some white chalk paint. And then I also used a turquoise blue, some twine, added some hot glue, Make sure that once your twine is glued on and that you add some more glue towards the back and that's pretty much it. And for our last DIY, this is a paddle boulder wall art. I'm going to be using some bamboo utensils from the Dollar Tree and those can rings or can tags and I'm just going to cut off the tags from the spoons and I'm gonna go in with some white chalk paint and you're gonna wanna cover the front and the back.
I then went in with some navy blue paint and I just created these two stripes of color and um, here I'm just taking some twine and I'm wrapping it to cover up the hole that is on the top. And now I'm grabbing some sandpaper from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna wear this down. I wanna give it a very, you know, coastal vibe. So um, I had to just keep working on it until I got it to where I wanted it. And I am super in love with this. I love how it looks. It gives me such beach vibes. And that is it for this video. If you liked it, make sure that you hit the like button so that way I know what type of videos you guys enjoy and also it helps out my channel a lot also subscribe hit that notification bell and follow us on facebook instagram snapchat and on tiktok i will list the link down below and as always thank you for your love and for your support until next time guys bye